Welcome back to Blake's Take. I'm Blake Neiman, and I'll give you my take on local and national sports from the Willamette Valley and beyond. I hope you're all having a terrific Monday. Had a great weekend this weekend. And just getting right into this uh, holiday week, going into next week being Christmas. So let's get right through it and power through. So we had lots of great action all across the leagues this weekend in football aspect, NFL, college football, you name it. So let's get right into it with some college football, lots of it uh, this weekend. But, of course, the most important game of all, we have the Army-Navy game, America's game. This is the first time Army-Navy has been held at West Point since 1943. So Army has really hoping that they can win this game, and we're going to do anything to try and get this win for the home crowd. This game would be a battle with not much progress from either team throughout the game. Just battling it back and forth the old-fashioned way on the gridiron. Army would get things started, though, late in the first quarter with Tyree Taylor throwing one up to Kyle Robinson, who would make an incredible catch on the sideline. This catch would set up a key field goal in this game. In fact, it would be the only scoring in the first half. Navy would get a great setup for a score in the second half, though, with Xavier Arline running 52 yards all the way down to the two-yard line where he would be brought down. Yet that score, that incredible run, would be shut down by Army on all four goal line downs. Just an incredible stop by the Army defense, really saying that we're not going to let this happen on our home turf. Then in the fourth, Tyre, Tyre Taylor would score Army's first ever touchdown against Navy at West Point and really put some life into this game. Navy would then try and get something going in the fourth with some trickery on a double reverse, yet that was shut down by Army in the end zone for a safety. Army knew everything that Navy was about to do before they did it. Army would then put some icing on the cake with a field goal at the end of the game. Army shuts out Navy. 15-0 to and their home turf just an incredible win for army dominant victory and super proud for them holding the army team to zero and makes them very happy improved to eight and two on the season just have an incredible season and i always look forward to watching army navy it's one of the greatest rivalries that we have here in america and i'm looking forward to what we'll see next year out of these two teams as far as NFL though, goes, we had more great action in plays all across the league. Starting off with the battle of two of the most elite teams in the NFL in the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Buffalo Bills. It would be a slow start for each team, neither team scoring in the first quarter. Big Ben would finally get things started, though, with the first score of the game with a dime to James Washington to take the early 7-0 lead. The Bills would slowly battle back and settle for a field goal. After that field goal, with just a minute remaining in the half, Derek Johnson would pick off Roethlisberger and take it all the way to the house and take the lead before halftime. Just an incredible play there and big momentum swing. The build was get things started in the third with Josh Allen connecting to Stefan Diggs, who had an incredible game on a slant, and Diggs would dive into the end zone for the score. On their next drive, Allen would connect with back shoulder with Gabriel Davis, which would give the Bills the two-score lead in this game. The Steelers would try and get some hope late at the start of the fourth with a wide-open Juju Smith touchdown to put the game within one score. However, the Buffalo D would shut them down and hand the Steelers their second straight loss. So great win for the Bills in this game, really trying to establish themselves and being a dominant force to be reckoned with in this AFC and trying to stand a chance to really build their resume to be ready to face these Kansas City Chiefs. As far as the Steelers, though, they're looking on a landslide. Second straight loss after going 11-0 and to start the season. It's not looking too good for the Steelers, and hopefully they can try and get a win to make it and win their division and not get caught up by the Browns. So we'll see how it turns out for them. As far as the rest of the NFL, the Broncos beat the Panthers in the re rematch of Super Bowl 50. The Cardinals finally broke their l losing streak in a win over the Giants. The Titans continue to dominate with Derrick Henry. The Chiefs survive a scare against the, the Miami Dolphins, but we always know Mahomes will clutch it up. The Cowboys get a very nice victory over the Bengals. The Bucks beat the Vikings. The Bears wiped the Texans. The Washington football team wins their third straight, just powering through this NFC East division. 
it's actually becoming pretty competitive over there. Uh, Jalen Hurts leads the Eagles to an upset over the Saints. Had an incredible performance out of him and a great start to his NFL career. The Colts would get the win over the Raiders. Uh, Aaron Rodgers keeps doing Aaron Rodgers things. Justin Herbert would get the long-awaited win uh, that he needed over the Falcons. And the Jets lose again. 0-13 on the season with a blowout loss to the Seahawks. Oh, the poor Oso Jets. We'll see if they can get a win. Only three games left. Keep our fingers crossed. If not, they'll join the Browns. Uh, so great action to get all around the league this weekend. It was just a fun, great weekend, and I'm glad to see all the teams battling it out, and I can't wait for next week. This thing is getting really heated, and the playoff picture is really t- starting to develop, and it's very exciting. As far as local sports, we had a back-and-forth battle uh, in the college football with Oregon State fighting it off against Stanford in a very close game. Chance Nolan would get things started for the Beavs in the first quarter with a connection to Ty John Lindsay at the goal line to take the early 7-0 lead. The Cardinals would respond with Mills dumping one off to tight end Musgrow, who would push it all the way into the end zone for the score. The Beavs would start off the second quarter with Nan- Chance Nolan rolling out and connecting with Zaire Beeson in the front of the end zone for the immaculate score. Mills would get things started for the Cards in the second half with a QB sneak to take back the lead. Chance Nolan would come in back and then take advantage of a free play by throwing a dime to Ty John Lindsay in the corner of the end zone to really battle back. Mills would then get the momentum going in the fourth quarter with a rollout run in the fourth to take the 24-21 lead. The Bees would then tie things up 24 apiece with a field goal on the opposing drives. Yet with just under two minutes remaining, the Cards would take a three-point lead with a field goal. Chance Nolan would try and get things uh, going for the Bees late in this game and try and get the win, yet would unfortunately fumble and would ultimately cost the Bees the win and the game. So unfortunate loss for the Bees. Really had it, had it there. We're battling back with the Cardinals, and we're really showing that they can just battle and dominate in this game. Yeah, unfortunately, just lost it late and couldn't hold on to their lead. So, unfortunate loss for the Beavs. Hopefully, they can try and bounce back against a very good Sun Devils team who actually wiped out seven uh, Arizona in their Arizona State Arizona rivalry. Uh, Arizona State wiped them seventy to seven. So, we'll see how the Beavs will stand up and try and battle against the Arizona State team. So, we'll see how it goes next week for the Beavs. And hopefully we'll see the Ducks battle uh, against their team next week uh, after the cancellation this weekend. So thank you for tuning in to another episode of Blake's Take. I appreciate all you all who tune in on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and or YouTube. And I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great rest of your night.